This is boron nitride, a semiconductor, also known as norbide. And because it's a semiconductor, I think this lump's worth a hundred bucks. Didn't used to cost like that, but I, I think that's the deal. But this works pretty good. Let, let, let's play with some norbide. Here we go. Okay, now I'm gonna this uh a two hundred and uh, ninety thousandths diameter in mill, and I'm gonna ink it off, and I'm gonna turn this into a uh, super reamer. I'm gonna circle grind. The cutting flute. And it's just a really nice uh, recycling thing because, uh, oh, hold on, let's get you back in there. I think you're doing real good. Yeah. It's recycling. Because this end mill is uh, an aerospace end mill, what they call it. It's, uh, you used to be able to buy these by, uh, by the bucket full. And they're kind of handy. It's 290 uh, in diameter. I'm going to rough it down to 270. And then uh, we'll test it a little later on in the jig pour. And then I'll do a final grind on it and see if we can get within a couple of tenths of a hole size, okay? So let's go.
Okay, that's a circle ground in now. I reduce the diameter of it. And the flutes are like that on a jobber's rammer. And it'll only cut on the front. So I'm going to drill, I, I like to drill a pilot hole and maybe leave five to ten thousandths aside and then run this in. And it doesn't flex and it's really an accurate way to uh, locate and uh, machine a hole. Now I got this tip from a plastic injection mold maker that uses this method for holes for his guide pins. All right, and it works. So we'll go, we'll do a little bit more on this. I'll uh, punch a hole with it, we'll, I'll mic the hole, and then I'll bring it back and dust this down and get an exact size. A little later, I got a bunch of tools to sharpen. Now on the cutter grinder, the, uh, this is direct reading in thousands, but you need to get a finer um, feed, you know, uh, measurement. So I just simply put a dial indicator, 10 thousandths dial indicator on. I kind of moved it a little bit. But I always put a, a safety string on it because you can forget about them and knock them off. So I thought I'd show you what I do there. And I can move this uh, back uh, back here too, okay? So, you know, to do a finer um, uh, end feed, that's, that's what I use as an uh, indicator like that. Okay. So that's what we're doing right now. Circle grinding and end mill. So I'll get back. Catch you later.